evening everybody so it's um thursday evening and this is going to be day one and a bit of day two of um the moving vlog so as you can see behind me they've already started to pack up cats and not going to be packed away but just let me show you so our kitchen um all these cupboards here are all empty so they're all in the boxes here and they've started to put boxes together you can see the rest of the room is empty and that room down there is empty as well um so that that's our kitchen table over there so actually they the, the movers i'll just move into the light the movers arrived at four and they did about four hours worth of work and actually they've they've done a huge amount of work in in just that little bit of time so tomorrow's going to be more packing obviously that they're going to come back in at eight o'clock in the morning um to finish packing down here and um to start then on upstairs so in the morning um we're going to pack some of our clothes and just some things that we want to take with us um because we're going to be in we're going to be in our temporary apartment for approximately a week a week and a half maybe and um, so we're, i'm not we're not going to have access to any of our stuff it's going to be in boxes and storage because it's only going to take two days to, for our stuff to get to france and um, so we're actually going to need suitcases with things in them that that'll do us for the week next week um obviously we'll be able to do laundry and we'll be able to if we need anything we can just buy it um but we just want to make sure that we have everything we need to hand um so yeah it's it's going well they we've got lots of boxes lots of things packed like you can see that these are the the kitchen chairs and, and this is our our kitchen table um so they've actually done loads what do you think huh orion no he doesn't really seem very bothered because you've moved a lot before right so that's the story where we are right now okay so it's day two it's friday morning i woke up to a very very foggy morning um i think it's quite apt for our mood at the moment it's frazzled and and just so much to do I, the moving guys are amazing they're, they're just absolutely amazing they um they're just whipping around um all the stuff so we're actually at the moment we're packing our suitcases so the stuff that we want to bring with us and it's really it's really funny because I'm used to packing suitcases to go on an airplane and I keep forgetting that I have no weight restrictions and I can put liquids in my bag because obviously we're taking the ferry so there's actually no restriction and I was trying to fit I have this right so so that's my my laptop I have separately but I'm bringing this coat so I bought this coat um a, a couple of weeks ago um it's a feather coat uh, really thick and um, and it's got feathers in it um so i i was trying to fit it into my suitcase and then i thought to myself i could just leave it on the back seat of the car like no worries so i think i'll be getting fairies everywhere in the future because i have a lot of bags right so i have an overnight bag for the ferry so this is just going to come on board um onto the into the cabin with us i have this big suitcase so this is the this the suitcase that we normally take to the states because you can we can do loads of shopping i have my handbag i have my laptop bag and then i have a smaller um carry-on um suitcase and so i'm bringing all of them with me in the um they're all gone in the car but it's trying to remember exactly what i need we're going to be without our stuff probably only a week actually um because we we found uh we've got a temporary apartment but on thursday we're actually going to sign the contracts for our new apartment and um that means that actually next thursday afternoon 
we should have the keys and the guys should be able to come and start unpacking so hopefully we're not going to be left for too long so um, i'm really excited that i'm going to be um i'm going to have literally a blank um canvas for my home office and i'm going to be starting all over again because i did have a desk here and i just threw it because it was damaged and broken so yeah um in terms of eating so this morning i've had um some of my keto granola um and i've had a cup of tea um we're going to be going out for lunch and we're going to be eating out getting probably takeout for dinner it will probably be something like mcdonald's but it'll be you know just the burgers cheese uh, vegetables without without the bun no no fries nothing like that it may may not be mcdonald's but it, it will be something like that because our kitchen is now completely packed away we have no means of cooking we have no <laughs> we have no cutlery we have no plates and it's just crazy um and then tomorrow they're going to um pack the last of the stuff we're going to just give the house a clean a hoover and um we'll be ready to set off which is like really scary so we have a couple of things to do this morning we're going to go into cork um we have to pick up um my daughter's glasses from uh, she got a new prescription so we have to go pick up her glasses and um, she needs a couple of new pairs of jeans um and i finished up yesterday and work was my last day and um my lovely lovely team um who are just the most fantastic bunch of people gave me a voucher for my favorite shoe shop they know me so well so um this shop doesn't exist in france so i'm gonna have to spend that voucher today dang so that's that's the plan today anyway so let's see how that goes so i'm showered and dressed and it's 10 a.m we're just about to head out but i've already eaten something that i shouldn't have and i don't even know why i did it i suppose it's kind of more unthinking really um so my husband went out and bought the movers some breakfast so he bought bacon and eggs um some sausage some hash browns and um i know the sausages have wheat in them i know they've got gluten in them and fillers that's that's tends to be what they put in the sausages here and i've had two and i also had a little bit of hash brown as well so i'm, I'm it was just we were all eating and it was just yeah completely automatic um, and it was only afterwards I was like we shouldn't have done that so and we need to be really really careful I can't use this stressful situation as an excuse to just let myself eat whatever I want because um, I'm going to find myself the end of next week up five pounds uh, of and it, and it won't be fat it, it's not body fat but it's bloating and i'm already kind of bloated um so uh yesterday was my birthday i'm 21 hey <laughs> what do you mean you don't think i'm 21 how dare you um so yesterday was my birthday but we didn't do anything obviously because we're things are crazy so i think maybe next week we'll go out for dinner one night and I'm definitely gonna treat myself to something I something I shouldn't be eating um, because it's it's my birthday. Well, it will have been my birthday. <laughs> so um, birthday and Christmas, I think, are um, are my two two times that I, I'll just relax a little bit. Okay, it'll only be one day and probably only one meal. So um, I'm not gonna use it as an excuse for a blowout. So I need to go put my shoes on and uh, get ready to go in the bar it's kind of empty because it's early um but we've we've had to stop for lunch and i've bought the most important probably the most important thing is um <laughs> and a seasickness tablet um it's to be a bit of a rough crossing so not really looking forward to it um but i've ordered a salad and mr keto has ordered a bunless burger so i'll show it to you when it arrives
empty house. We're all done. So it's a bit dark. I'm really sorry. As you can see, it's nighttime outside. But I'm actually going to do a tour of our house now. <laughs> now that it's empty. Um, I know people have asked for it before and I just kind of held off doing it because um, not maybe not everybody would be interested but it seems that if you've clicked on this vlog then you're interested in um, in seeing what we're up to so I said I'd do um, a little house tour now. So this is the main, our main bedroom. So at the moment you have all the stuff that we're bringing with us and overnight bags for tonight but this is the master bedroom. You can see it's completely empty. If you see any dust on the floor, I would please beg you to ignore it. This was in our bathroom. This is our, our ensuite. Um, but this is um, going to one of our neighbors. So this was our ensuite. Shower, normal bathroom. Um, so that was our ensuite. So I'll just turn off the lights as I'm going. Okay, so this is, this is our hallway. Um, I'm going to show you that what's down there um, now in a minute. Okay, so this was our daughter's room. This was here when we moved in, so we're just going to leave there. Oh, look at my nail. <gasps> nail varnish. Okay, so this was our daughter's room, and that's her bathroom there. Um, it's probably one the second biggest room, and it has an ensuite as well, window there. So that's all empty. And then we have another room here um, and this room I used kind of like as a walk-in wardrobe. We have a, a desk here, a built-in desk, but um, I used this room as a kind of um, walk-in wardrobe. I had, um, I had my wardrobes here, so that's this room. You might see some of the cats running around. They're really worried about what's happening. So they've been closed in this room. So excuse the mess. So they've been closed in this room. I left some boxes out just so they can play. And then the litters. Um, these are the containers that we're shipping the cats in. Um, so there'll be two cats in this one, two cats in this one, and one in each car. And they're just some spare boxes we had. So this was a spare room. Um, this is where I used to film some of the videos just because it was a spare room and there was nobody in there. So this is another bathroom with a bath. Um, we didn't really use this room very much. So the next one in here is just storage. It's just a press for storing laundry and um, towels and things like that. So then we go downstairs, you can see we have double height ceiling um, that leads down into the hall. Excuse the, the dirt on the floor, we still haven't cleaned yet. So that's the front door and it leads into the hall. So this is our hall. Um, this is our living room, so nice big room. Bit awkward with the window um, because the couch didn't really fit in the window, so it was a little bit awkward. Um, but this is we still have the internet on, the most important thing. So this was the living room. And then over here, so the cats are exploring and worried because there's no furniture left. Um, so over here was our home office. So you can see slightly smaller room than the living room and it has a, a wood fire stove there. What are you saying, huh? Are you giving out? Um, so yeah, so this is the, the, the study. And then in here, there's another bathroom with a shower and the cat carriers that we're going to be using tomorrow. And then, second last room, kitchen and dining room and sunroom. So this is the sunroom. So um, I filmed my TBC videos in here. So you can see it's a nice big room, lots of windows. You know, the weather's not great in Ireland, so we need a kind of indoor outdoor room. And then we had the the dining table here 
um, and then this is the kitchen. I know you guys, if you've been, if you've watched us, you will know this room. This is our kitchen. So kitchen, dining, and sunroom, and cat. And then lastly, oh, we interrupted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> One peeing cat, but this is the laundry room. So. Um, these were here when we moved in, so they're going to stay. Um, and that's it, really. That's, that's our house.